Hello, welcome to a word in season. I'm sitting here in one of my favourite spots in my house where I love to spend some time just with Jesus. Um, the sun coming in and, um, and just, yeah, setting aside a few minutes to start the day. Um, but so often I rush into the day, particularly if I'm working from home, I start doing emails and sending uh, text messages, ringing people, writing stuff, preparing for talks. And, and then I realise I haven't stopped to be still, to sit still, to tune into Jesus, to be open to listen and to pray, to be with God. Um, yeah, so it happened again the other day and I'd been rushing into life and on the go and I realised I needed to sit in my favourite chair um, and spend time with God. I occasionally we hear the, the buses and the, the cars whizzing past outside. Um, but then there's the faint chirping of birds and the voice of Jesus as I read his word, as I, as I pray. I'm reminded of a time when I drove to Albany. In fact, I was driving to Williams Bay, which is on the other side of Denmark. And I'm usually very organized and get the snacks, fill up the car with fuel before I head off. And, and this particular time, um, I was leaving early in the morning. I'd been at Essence on the Thursday night. And so set my alarm for five o'clock. I actually woke up at 3.30 and when I was still awake at four, I was like, okay, I'll just get up and start driving. And I did stop along the way for some breakfast, uh, go to the toilet, um, and you know, even just to take a photo of the sunrise. It was beautiful. When I was about 30 kilometers on the other side of Kojanap, the little message on my dash appeared saying that I had about 40 kilometers left of fuel, um, yeah, left to be able to, to travel uh, with what was left in my fuel tank. I was, 35, uh, I was 75 kilometres out of Mount Barker. That's, um, so I had the decision, do I turn back to Kojanap? Do I keep going? Um, so I actually pulled over to the side of the road and I stopped and I prayed and I looked at my maps. And I could see Tenerton was up ahead and there might be fuel there. I couldn't quite remember if there was a station there. But then I noticed Cranbrook. Cranbrook, about four kilometers off Albany Highway. And I thought, yeah, that's probably big enough to have a fuel station, even in the early hours of the morning. So as I pulled in to Cranbrook, I saw this small little sign that said 24 hour fuel. And I was quite relieved because I only had about six kilometers left um, in what they were saying in my fuel tank. Um, but it made me realize that so often in life, we don't function on a full fuel tank. You know, we, we race into things. Um, I was very pleased when I got to Tenderton and saw that, yeah, there was no fuel station there and I'd made a good decision. I'd stopped and I'd listened to Jesus um, and looked at my maps, got the information and realized that, um, that I needed to stop for fuel. And we need to do that in our lives as well, to have that time with God Jesus even did it. He, he would take time out to go to the quiet places, to pray on mountains, to walk along by the sea, um, even in the fields. He showed his disciples what it was to pray. Um, Bill Guthrie says about Jesus' solitude and silence, that it's a priority of Jesus throughout the Gospels. It's how he began his ministry. It's how he made important decisions, how he dealt with troubling emotions like grief, Jesus taught his disciples the importance of being prepared for ministry events, even in preparation for his own death on the cross. Jesus prayed. Jesus invites us to join him in solitude and silence so we can know God as our Abba Father too. How can we even think that we can continue on in life to love well, to live well, without following Jesus' example? Uh, you know, he, he loved spending time with God. And we also set the example for others as Jesus did. And Dan spoke in episode 125 of our Word in Season on Matthew 11, 28 to 30. And this is where um, we learn the unforced rhythms of grace of following Jesus. If we're tired and weary and burnt out, 
we can come to him. And that's what he wants us to do. Jesus invites us to join him in solitude and silence. Um, he is the vine and we are the branches. And if we abide in him, as it tells us in John 15, then we will bear much fruit. If we don't have the fuel we need in our lives, how can we be fruitful? If we don't spend time with Jesus to stop, sit, tune in, open, being open to listen and praying with him. I hope you enjoy stopping and having some quiet time with Jesus today.